it's Whitney. How are you? No. <laughs> Hi, you guys. It's Whitney. Um, so, I got a new camera. I don't know if you can see the difference in quality, but I can see the difference through my screen, which is probably not, you know, going to be as good as uploading on YouTube, but hopefully, fingers crossed, that it's going to be amazing. So, I did this look using Hwood Beauty, Sormay, Erna Laszlo products, mainly those three companies. And if you want to learn how to get this look, then keep watching. <laughs> okay, thanks. So I already prepped my skin and I started off with um, Mederma. And I think it's working. I think it's really lightening my scars. Not really scars, just more like my freckles even. Just slightly. And I always spritz my face now with a Natura Bise Diamond Mist. I used my Natura Bise Diamond Extreme Eye Cream and I absolutely love this eye cream. Love it. I used my La Mer Cream for my moisturizer. I'm going to use my Ico Cream and this is not the extra glow, it's just the regular one as a base. I'm just focusing more like on the outside. So it gives me a nice glow underneath my makeup. For my skin, I'm going to be using only Erno Laszlo products. And the one that I'm going to start off with is the Tinted Treatment SPF 15 Sheer Color with Sunscreen. And I'm in light. And I really like this product because it gives you nice sheer coverage. But it's hydrating. And Erna Laszlo is definitely known for their skincare. With that Ico cream underneath, you could still see the glow through it. Also, with this Erna Laszlo tinted moisturizer, you can actually build it. You can probably get up to like, I have a sheer coverage right now, you could probably get up to like a light coverage. So I'm actually going to do that. Why not? so hydrating, it's so smooth, it's natural looking. I love this product. This is the Erno Laszlo Multi-Phase Concealer. It's for your face and your eyes. My shade is number two, and it comes in a case like this, and it looks like this. I'm going to use my Royal and Langnickel Silk Pro Complexion C185 brush. When I contacted them on the website they said that they're redoing the website so basically the brushes some of them aren't showing up but they do have them so definitely contact them if there's a brush you're curious about so I'm gonna just apply this here on my nose I always kind of go generally in this region <laughs> with concealer and just kind of pat it with your finger. Take a little bit on my finger, put up my blemishes. Next step is my Erna Laszlo Controlling Face Powder and it's for normal to oily skin types and it's in translucent light is the shade I have. So it comes in a package like this, which is what most of their skincare comes in. It looks like marble. Now, it comes in a sealed, like, plastic piece right here. So I poked a hole in it to let out some of the product. So I did not want it going all over the place since I'm not a huge fan of loose powders. I just want a light dusting of this on, so I'm going to use my Addiction Envy Cosmetics Pink Fan Brush. Love this brush, it's so cute. And I just go like this really fast.
this fan brush applies it. Look at how much it takes up of your face. So it applies it super fast. So since you know I do like glow to my skin, I'm only doing one light layer. In all honesty, I'm not like a huge fan of the powder, mainly because I just don't like loose powders. But it's just the concealer and the tint and moisturizer get me so well. I just love it. So maybe that's why. I was sent a couple brushes by Sorme, this company right here. And this one is the blush brush. So I haven't used them yet, so I'm going to use them for the first time. And it's very soft. It's the blush 951 by Sorme Professional Series. And here it is very soft lots of hairs in it too so with this I'm going to use a bronzer is the Erno Laszlo multi-phase bronzer looks like that take the brush swirl it all in I always go up here. I just find that when you go up here where the sun would naturally hit and bronze your skin, it just kind of brings this together. Whenever people don't bronze up here, it's like, ah, come on. It just evens it all out. This bronzer just gives you that sun-kissed effect. I'll zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. So you can still see my freckles. <laughs> now we're going to do Hwood Beauty. I'm going to use their cream blush. It says paraben free, blends easily, matte finish in the shade of Snapdragon. And it comes in a package like this. You open it. And the package kind of just falls apart so you can recycle it. So here's the shade. It's more of a rose toned. With cream blushes, I absolutely love using the Senna brush. It's the airbrush cheek. And it looks like this. So I'm going to dip it in. Pretty vibrant. And then just blend it out with my finger. I use this in one of my past videos. It's the Hwood Beauty Illuminate in Sunshine. Gorgeous highlight. You can highlight your brow bone, your nose, your cheeks. I'm going to wipe off this brush and use it for the highlight. I love this highlighter. I'm going to put it on as if I would a powder. my brow bone so it's kind of like creating this shape Sorme makes this primer eyeshadow primer called under shadow looks like that and it's just a plain shade I'm going to take my B Delium Tool 787. It's just a big fluffy brush. Here it is compared to the MAC 224, so you can see what I'm talking about. It's 
like just a big fluffy brush. And this is great for concealer and it's also great for the pr like applying cream products to your eye. I'll go ahead and zoom in so you can see. So with under shadow you don't want to use too much. You just want to use a light amount. This product definitely holds on the eyeshadow longer, but it also helps prevent creasing. So Hwood Beauty sent me three gorgeous eyeshadows, and the packaging looks like this. This shade is my favorite. I'm so excited. I really love this. <laughs> it's called Pico. Here it is. It's like a beautiful multi-dimensional pearl amethyst but more of a taupey purple it's like that here's a swatch so pico is going to go on my eyelid and I'm using a sormay brush again it's the fluff shadow 954 and it looks like this. It looks like a gray brush and it's f not f not really dense, it's pretty flimsy. But I think I can tap and pack on the color. I am bringing it a little bit above my crease. Actually, since it's such such a soft brush, I'm just going to take what's left on it and blend that out. I am really liking this brush. This is my Sorme Firm Definer brush, and I'm going to put a little bit of Pico underneath my lash line. Here's another shade. It's called Cahuenga? Cahuenga? <laughs> it's just a really pretty shimmery pinkish neutral. With this same fluff shadow brush from Sorme, I'm going to put it underneath my brow bone. Also take some in here. The last eyeshadow I'm going to use is called Rodeo. And it's this beautiful deep purple. So pretty. I believe this is my MAC 272 brush. It's just angled. And I'm just going to 
place it where I want it. And just build the depth little by little. Don't pack on too much all at once. This is a really cool brush. This is from Avisiare Cosmetics. It's the number nine shade it and fade it. <laughs> I think that's so cute, that name. And I'm just gonna, it's just a clean brush just to blend out the edges. Now, I have a light over here, so that's why it looks darker on this side. These shadows did give me fallout. I mean, most silky, textured, super smooth eyeshadows do. My H. Wood Black Eyeliner. I'm going to try to put this as close as I can to the lash line. I don't want to take away from the purple. Using my Sorme Firm Definer, I'm going to go back into Rodeo and go over the top of that black liner. I'm going to use my CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara and I will be right back. I absolutely love CoverGirl Lash Blast. I mean, it's really an amazing mascara and it stays on and it doesn't flake. I'm going to use my Sorme Brow Style. It's a little kit. Mine's in soft blonde. Comes with a wax, a light color, a darker color, and a spoolie and brushes to apply it. It's a great kit. I'm going to use a little bit of wax at first. And then I go back over and just brush it out. That way it doesn't look like I have anything drawn on. And I did a blog review on this, um, like a brow studio in Solana Beach, which is here in San Diego. Alexis K brows and she like trained under Anastasia of Beverly Hills brow artist 
and Alexis is so amazing and she totally had me like grow my brows out and I'm loving them. I love them so much more than when they were thin. And she taught me how to do my brows and I just, oh, I'm so happy with them. More happy than I used to be at least. So there's the eye. Now for lips, they're going to be by Hwood Beauty. I'm going to use a lip liner in Monaco. It's like a pretty nude. This side, I have, it goes down more. This is fuller, so I have to add a little bit more on this side. Just so it's symmetrical. This is a really pretty lip liner shade. I'm going to use two shades of lipsticks. One's a darker nude and one's a lighter nude. This is Malibu. It's showing up really dark. It's really not that dark. <laughs> and this is just going to go in the outer corners. This one's my favorite. It's Newport. It's the prettiest nude and it's so much lighter than that. I promise. We'll just swatch. See? It's a beautiful nude. Just going to use a matte gloss in Virgin Isle. It was limited edition. So that's the completed look, and I hope you enjoyed on this new camera. I wonder what the quality is like, you know, I, when I upload it, I wonder what it's going to be like, if it's, if you guys are going to see a difference or whatnot. Um, yeah, I really am trying to get used to this camera. <laughs> it's different, so, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know whether to look like at you guys or like right next to my screen. Like, blah, 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 blah. but... I just want to say thank you so much to my subscribers um, and the people who comment and it just means so much to me that you guys watch my videos. It really truly does. I can't say that enough. I know I say that a lot but words can't describe how grateful I am and thankful and um, I'm so happy that my, my parents got this for me, this camera for Christmas because this is just like making YouTube partner and which you know isn't like a huge deal but I don't know it was just kind of like a good little accomplishment for me um, but having the new camera is like taking another step into what I love doing and putting out videos for you is what I love doing I love showing products and recommendations and of course tips and tricks and tutorials but 
really am a product lover and I just enjoy it so much so just really appreciate you guys and oh man I'm so happy about this camera oh my gosh I'm so happy it's like 2 a.m. and I'm making a video and it's like 54 minutes long right now so thank you for watching and leave me comments and rates and if you aren't subscribed then subscribe Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.